week four, mountain climbing. On this week's adventure, we're going to scale the third highest peak in North America, the treacherous Pico de Orizaba. Our first guest is volleyball great Sinjin Smith. We're gonna be going, it looks to me, like straight up. Sinjin will be accompanied okay. by his brother, Andrew, who is also a pro volleyball player. I thought it was going to be kind of a casual hike. <laughs> <laughs> and our other guest is world-renowned psychologist, Dr. Joyce Brothers. The yellow down my back is not tiger, it's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> In 1954, eight people team disappear in Tad Kerbasis. Oh, you mm -hmm. didn't tell us that earlier. <laughs> This is definitely a climb, and it will not be easy. I'm sure of it now. You start to wonder, maybe we should turn around. If you were to slip, you'd fall right down in the crevasse. I believe, as Freud said, that sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. This is the most dangerous thing I think I've ever done in my life. And I don't think that climbing a mountain is a metaphor for success. It's brutal. You're gasping for air. There's just so little oxygen. Or for anything other than, I want to be there. I want to see something that is extraordinary. We are at 17,000 feet. I think Ricardo is making sure he doesn't lose one of us. He's tying us up. <laughs> it was a real test to see how far you could go. Week five, polar bear expedition. This week, we journey to a remote inlet in Canada's Northwest Territories, just below the Arctic Circle, in search of the largest carnivore to walk the Earth, the polar bear. Our guests are crime novelist Lawrence Block. I figured there wouldn't be any out today. And world-renowned photographer Herb Ritz. I wanted somewhat of a challenge. And he posed better than Cindy and Al and Claudia, I would say, all in one. <laughs> OK, Pato. <laughs> Our adventurers are in such remote waters that for the next five days, they won't see another boat building or human being. Are you taking us on a wild goose chase? It's my belief that the glimpses of one's own interior landscape that you get through travel inform the other work. There it is, floating quick. Hey, Mr. Polar Bear. Oh, wow. Amazing. I'm ready for my close-up, Sister Bear. It's exciting, though, in a way, if you can get close enough and observe and feel the presence of those animals. Sometimes it would like look right at you and see its eyes, and suddenly you really felt one with it. Oh, is that wonderful? Oh. You, you want to go up to it, and you go, oh, 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 but you, you realize it's a massive animal. I mean, these are wild animals letting you in their terrain. Week six, dog sledding. On this week's adventure, we'll be dog sledding behind a team of huskies <laughs> across the snowbound wilderness of northwest Wyoming. Pick it up. Oh, I just had my foot on the brake. Our guests on this frontier adventure are philosopher Sam Keen. Every year, I try to do something that, that takes me out of my ordinary life and monologist Spalding Gray. I am a little nervous about the dogs. I'm the kind of guy that would rather be pulling the sled and have the dogs riding. Their guide for this trip is Frank Teasley. Good boy, Charlie Brown. These dogs are bred, raised, trained to run. That's all they ever want to do. It's just like uh, learning Russian or something. You have to learn their vocabulary. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sam and I are both writing from ourselves from our own experiences. A physical journey is very much like meditation in that sense, that you rise up above your normal life and you're able to see yourself in new circumstances. Good, Cupid. Good July. It gives me enormous perspective. It blows away the cobwebs. There's 150 dogs out there, 150 personalities. I think my dogs are the luckiest dogs in the world. That was genuinely a, 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 no, a no loss race. Yeah. <laughs> Competition is just another aphrodisiac. It is. <laughs> no. I can't believe that the dog sled story won't come into one of my performances. I'll remember that for the rest of my life. On 